what's going on? It's Richard Shimusov here, and welcome back to the Minecraft Files. This is episode 13 in season 5, and today's user request comes from James Robillard Jr., who wants me to make a multi-farm equipped with a farmhouse, stables, a barn, and every type of farm. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to all that stuff today. I'm probably just going to end up making the farm, and uh, we could either... It's up to you guys. We could either do the barn and the stables and those things in later episodes. I most likely will, because those are sort of some more fun, big projects. Um, so yeah, you guys will have to let me know how that, how that, you know, runs over with you guys and what you, what you all think. But, um, let me show you guys what I've done between last episode and this episode. First of all, thank you guys so much for all the support on Friday's RPF. Actually, it was on Saturday, but I didn't care. Uh, <laughs> but seriously, thank you guys so much for your support. It really means a lot. And, um, yeah, the season has been going awesome so far. So what I would like to show you guys is that I've actually started to sort of map out what the town is going to look like because I've slowly started to just sort of move back from the water and uh, now I'm starting to sort of decide where I want this to start and stop because ultimately we're going to be doing some, probably one episode. I, I don't want to say some episodes because that would be boring, but at least one episode where I'm going to be putting some walls around the entire place. It's going to be, you know, we're going to, and then we're going to build a, probably build a, castle I don't know how big yet but I'm gonna attempt to build one um, so what I'm going ahead and doing now is sort of starting to even out the uh, the cobblestone sort of main area of this town or whatever and then um, sort of plotting out some land for different buildings like there's one that's gonna go there one here one here uh, I'd like to put another one something right in here ish I want to keep it all compact and tight and then probably some buildings over here and down there so that's all coming up in Season 5 of the Minecraft Files, but uh, today we're going to be building a farm. So the way I understand it is that farms in the medieval era, I guess, used to... They, they usually were either outside of the town wall, or if they were inside the town wall, they were literally, like, right against the wall. So I don't know, like I said, exactly where this wall is going to go yet, but I'd like to build my farm uh, right here. So what I went ahead and did was this area, if you've downloaded the world, I put the world download in for last week uh, on, la on last Friday's video. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about the uh, the world download. Like, when can we get the world download? I've been forgetting. I, literally, every time I up upload an episode, I uh, always forget. I'm like, dang, I keep forgetting. And um, so I put that in last week's, uh, last Friday's RPF, and it's there if you guys want to check it out. I will continue to update the world file every Friday, like I had done in Season 3 and Season 4. Um, I just forgot in Season 5, and I apologize, but that will happen. So if you guys have downloaded that world, you'll know that this area used to be sand, and I went ahead and just uh, literally by hand, I it took forever. Uh, I should just use world edit or something. But I basically uh, knocked out all of the, the sand that was on the top layer. There's still sand below it, but it's not going to affect our farm whatsoever. So what I want to do is build a really not organized, just kind of crazy farm. And the first thing that I want to do is build some water flowing through the farm. So when this world was re-dropped from Season 3 into Minecraft 1.4.5 by uh, Minecraft and his, his crew that does Pit My Minecraft, there was this water river here and it had this kind of awkward looking waterfall I need to touch this up and make it look better obviously it's gonna be a nightmare but uh, I want to sort of use this because it is reasonably close to our village which needs a name by the way I don't know we should figure that out anyways uh, <laughs> so what I'm gonna do not necessarily today I will eventually connect the two but Today it's just going to look like there's random water flowing through our farm and you guys might be like, well, where is it coming from? Well, eventually I'm going to route this water and make a small little river over to here and sort of irrigate our, our land because ultimately we need these crops to be uh, growing and they can't really grow if they're not, um, they're not wet. So, or the soil isn't wet. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to try my best to make some sort of a snaking type um, river looking thing. I don't really know. Uh, let me get rid of this. I'm going to make this flat. If it's flat, I think it's going to be easier for us to work with. Oops. Okay. So let's clean that up. All right. So let's just see here. So it's going to come from over there. Let's just do different stuff like this. Yes, it does have to be, you can't do diagonals, you can't cut out diagonals like that, otherwise the water can't, can't get in. Um, let's do that. 
So I kind of want this one to really sort of cut its way over to that corner. And we'll just try and keep it random. I don't really know. That looks all right, I guess. Uh, okay, so what we'll do now is we're going to go ahead and add our water in. And then we're going to put, I'm going to try to put water blocks. Uh oh, that's not good. Water blocks at each, in each spot so we don't have any crazy currents. Now, I know you'll probably ask, well, isn't it supposed to be flowing? Yes, but you know how water is in Minecraft. It only flows uh, eight blocks. So this pathway is obviously a lot longer than that and uh, we're gonna run into some problems so I'm just gonna try to accommodate here and there we go alright so that is river number one now we're gonna also continue on and let's do um, uh, let's see how do I want to do this I was gonna have the river split, so let's have the river split like this. And what this will do is we can put the farm in between this, and it'll sort of give some variation to uh, the way the farm is set up, and it'll break the farm up a little bit. Um, and then we can obviously put the the wheat in the middle, and let's even do do another one over here watch we can flow it into this into this as well so that'll be another probably project that I'm gonna I'll end up doing boom 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 this is just a reminder for myself to bring this down into into there okay uh, let's get rid of that Pew. no right there stay there okay so that's a reminder for myself uh, and then this will also Make this sort of connect like that. And let's just fill this in. I want to see how this looks for right now before we move on. And then the wheat farm will just sort of be in the middle here. And oh no, I just I oh I just placed it there. Did not mean to do that. There we go. The cursor on this texture pack is really small, and sometimes it's hard to see on the screen. I can't tell exactly where I'm placing, so my apologies. There it goes again. <laughs> so maybe, maybe, I know that the tradition of the Minecraft files goes that I misplaced blocks. Not intentionally, it just sort of happens that way. But today's episode, I suppose, is uh, we're dealing with water block misplacement. Which I guess if you were to ask Notch and Jeb if that counts as an actual block in Minecraft, they would probably say yeah. Um, so, I don't know. Okie dokie. So, let's see here. We've got our farm. Our irrigation. And, ooh, there's water here, too. I forgot about that. So, let's also, um, well, there's like a reflection on that water. That's sweet. I don't even have a mod. That just must be the texture pack. Very cool. Um, I guess what I'd like to do, then, is we could also make another part of the river. Cut its way out of here. It's a rogue river. It goes wherever it wants. It cannot be stopped. Chimney world problems. <laughs> all right. Um, this is oh crap! I forgot. This is all the base of this is sand. We're gonna have to fix that eventually. Uh, I completely forgot about that. I think the river bed should probably be dirt, just normal dirt, something like this. Oops. Dang it, gonna mess that up. All right, and is that grass? I didn't know the grass could be underwater. Most, most like little rivers and bodies of water that you see, they don't ever have grass underwater. That's really bizarre. Well, in any case, we're gonna put dirt, and if it turns to grass, then whatever. Hashtag deal with it, not my problem. <laughs> It's the Minecraft world. If that's what it wants to do, then that's what it wants to do. I can't control it. All 
All right, so there we go. Looking good, looking good, looking good. It's getting dark. Oops. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Gonna get it all, gonna get it all. Ugh. My fingers are moving so fast. Dang it. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is I am just going to sort of tunnel that like that because what I'm gonna do off camera in between episodes is most likely uh, just make this rest of this river finish off down into there. But because we only have so much time together in this episode before I have to go, oh crap, before I have to go do other things uh, and make other videos, and because I gave you guys a really long episode on Friday, uh, we need to start our wheat farm. So what we're going to do here is uh, the areas in between here are going to be consisting of wheat. So I have a diamond hoe that I gave myself because you can't, even though I'm in creative mode, you can't make it, um, you can't make tilled soil, at least not that I'm aware of. I don't think so. Nope, it just gives you dirt. Okay, so for this one, I know I haven't done this recently because a lot of people complained um, that they wanted me to just keep it as nighttime, but because we're going to be growing wheat and making wheat today, I want to just keep this sort of uh, as daytime here. So, like I said, this river will continue out. Let's make sure that I remind myself to do that there. And let's just get started on the wheat. So what I'm going to do first is we're going to till all the soil first. What I'd like to do, because this is going to be obviously a medieval farm and you know, people need to work on the farm, which I can't force them to do. But uh, theoretically, if you were to download this world and play in it and you wanted to have this on a server or have your buddy on with you and you wanted to check out my map when this is all finished, check out my, you know, my town or village when this is all done, uh, much like seasons past, I uh, will need some access to the farm without, you know, going over the river. So what I'm going to do is we're going to make some very, very teeny weeny, tiny, 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 tiny bridges. They're going to go over the river in certain spots. And that's going to be, uh, make this whole thing a little bit more realistic because, uh, ultimately I don't think back in the day people were like, you know, waded through the water to just go harvest wheat. I think they had made little bridges and did all that fun stuff. So pardon the feverish clicking here. I'm just literally trying to finish this thing off here. We're going to till the soil first. And then I will probably go ahead and make the bridges, and then we'll plant, and then we'll give it the bone meal. Give it that bone meal treatment, you know what I'm saying? Bone meal. Oh, there's a torch there. Bone meal was a, is a wonderful thing. I, I do, I definitely do miss the days of, of Alpha where you had to grow your own food. Um, oh crap, didn't mean to do that. Uh, we had to grow your own food and wait for it to be grown. I shouldn't say grow your own food because you can still grow your own food, but nowadays if you just kill enough skeletons, you can like insta-grow everything. And it's cool. I like it. I, I'm not complaining. I'm just I'm just being nostalgic right now about the old days. Yes, I started playing Minecraft in November, late November 2010. Probably the last day of November actually, or one of the last days. Um, right at the end of Alpha is when I started playing. All the memories. I've wanted to do like a Minecraft Alpha series for a while. I'll just put that water there. Perfect. Uh, just to like relive the olden days. I feel like that's kind of overdone though. And I, I don't want to say a lot of people have done that, but I don't know that that's something that people necessarily want now. I don't know. I don't feel like there's it's really a, would attract that many um, of you guys to watch just because I don't know that you guys are like craving an alpha series but eventually I think I would like to do something like that even if it was just like a, a three-part series something really short or something just like hey guys remember remember alpha let's play I think that'd be really cool all right so uh, once we're finishing this up here I don't know yet how far I want this to go out it's gonna have a limit obviously Just for the sake of the video, let's just say it's sort of all of the above. And it's all this. Okay, so this is our farm. And 
we're having some water issues over here, aren't we? That will happen. That will happen. The the rivers cannot be perfect, so I probably will have to start to place little packets, packets, little pockets, pockets of water. There you go. There you go, Tierney. You got the right word. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, so let's do this. Woo! -hoo! Speed farming. Okay, this is probably. Is this still hydrated in here? I don't even know. We're gonna put that there though. Um, Alright, cool. That reflection looks so awesome. I don't know why. It just really looks nice. Okie dokie. So, the next thing we're going to do is build our little uh, bridges. So, let's do this today. And we'll start with a bridge, um, I guess, right here. The way we're going to do this is let's do that, do that, and like that. So this little bridge, and since we don't want to walk on this on our farm, we're gonna just do that. We we'll have a walkway. We we'll have a walkway. Well, we should get a walkway too. Um, let's do this. This is gonna be our temporary walkway for right now. So I'm sort of revising this as we go. And no, you know what? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Actually, let's do. Let's do the next bridge right here. You get out of here, dirt block. Okay. So the next walkway is gonna be like that, and yes, that's okay. You can stay. You can stay. You can stay. You can stay. You. And we are going to till this and this. Wait. Let's make it. Let's be generous. All right. So there we go. So the next walkway. Oh, this is perfect. Right here. I'll make this a different material. The walkway, oops. Um, we'll make it some a lot more similar to like the cobblestone that's out there that you guys have seen. Just to sort of keep it uniform. Alright. Uh, so this is going to be sort of our main walkway that kind of cuts through the whole thing. And um, to kind of keep it a little bit more rough looking like it kind of has been the whole, or the whole, um, what am I, what am I trying to say? The, the, I don't want it to be just a straight walkway. I want it to sort of be more, a little bit more dynamic. Um, so we can kind of play around with that just a little bit and, uh, everything. So the next part, this is what's really going to complete this, you guys, for, for this, the sake of this, um, this video is planting the wheat. Now I want to make some other bridges to connect some areas here because well I guess you can you can get to this section over here by walking uh, using this bridge and walking through the field there uh, the, I guess we connected everything all right well screw it let's let's go just start planning it's gonna take forever oh my goodness this is gonna take so long to plant all these little guys and then go back again double time and grow them with bone meal. But it'll be worth it. I think this is going to look really cool. And for all of you guys out there that uh, are still, I guess, adapting to the change of this season, because I know there's probably a small portion of you now, um, I will not be, for RPF, the survival, uh, the survival episode per week, I will not be, because I've been having sort of food issues lately, I haven't had that much food, I will not be coming and stealing wheat from this farm. Um, I will be on my own terms, I guess, in terms of, uh, of, uh, of feeding myself until which point in the season when, well, there will probably be a turning point in the season. I don't know when it will be yet, but, um, I don't want to give away too many details because I've got a couple fun th ideas planned, I guess, but, uh, yeah, it, I don't, I'm, not, I'm just going to shut up. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> um... So, but for the ne the near future, I won't be stealing from this farm. So don't be like, oh, well, he just cheated. He, he got a lot of food because he made his own farm in creative mode. It's not going to work like that. It's not going to work like that. 
All right, so planting the wheat down. Gonna get it, gonna get it. Whoop, okay. It's already starting to look a little bit better. It's coming to life. The vision is happening. This is cool. I'm, I'm really glad that we did a farm for this episode. One, because every season of the Minecraft Files has a big farm. It's just tradition now. Uh, and the... It's sort of been, it's a little bit different from what I've done before in this season. I've been doing a lot more of building, the actual buildings. Today we are building a sustainable food system, which is cool. And then in later episodes we'll build some stables, and obviously we don't have horses, but we can wrangle up some cows and throw some cows in there, and uh, I forget what else they said I have it on my whiteboard here. A barn, yes, a barn. Uh, farmhouse um, oh yeah and then every type of farm too I should start thinking about either may maybe making separate I maybe you could do separate farms like we could have theoretically have different occupations for our villagers uh, even though they all sort of well the normal ones the brown ones are considered just like farming villagers but um, and in this texture pack they're the ones that have like an actual face and they're kind of creepy looking but uh, we could technically, I guess, say that, you know, we have a melon farmer, and we have a pumpkin farmer, and a wheat farmer, and what other kind of farms are there? I think that that's it. Oh, we got carrots and potatoes now. Holy smokes, I forgot about that. That'll be cool. I just remembered that. I'm going to change the time again. I just remembered that. Seriously, that's going to be so awesome. We'll totally beef this out, and what I'll do is I'll start expanding some of these farms, or we could put them in different areas. They're, wheat farm is probably going to be the biggest farm that I build in this whole village but I just remember now that we have carrots and potatoes which is sick and a, a large portion and focus of what I wanted this season to be was uh, to focus on some of the newer aspects and newer things in Minecraft and uh, that's gonna be perfect all right so the fun begins now we're gonna go back through all the seeds that we just planted and uh, turn it into a full full-grown wheat here so bear with me for a few more minutes while we Click, our, click away. Luckily for this portion of the uh, the video, unless I hit a grass block, I can't really miss misclick or misplace. I could do that and then be like, oh, look at all this stuff. I'm just kidding. That, that actually will look okay. <laughs> I don't really want to flower there, but I'm trying to explain that my chances are minimal at misclicking here because you can't Nothing's going to happen when you click in the water. Oh, I need to replace this, too. Oops, forgot about that. No! So sorry, Wheat. I did not mean to break you. All right, there we go. And there. Plant. You'll get grown first. Boom. Good job. Way to be promoted. So let's come over here. Once this is all grown, it's going to look very cool. It's going to have this really awesome yellowy look. Um, you guys know how it is. You guys know how wheat farms are. Is this area... No, this isn't dry. It's not dry. I was thinking that that could be possibly dried soil, but it's not because we've got water close enough. It was just the angle that I was looking at it. it was sort of deceiving me. I really love this texture pack, though. The John Smith texture pack. It's been absolutely perfect for the style of the series, and uh, you guys will see when you download the world, the world file, um, that you can still it still looks really good in uh, in normal, like with a normal texture pack on, which is great because I know a lot of people will just play with normal on, but uh, it definitely looks way better in this texture pack, and um, I'm really 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 happy that I chose this one for this season. I don't know really why you would choose any other type of medieval texture pack other than the John Smith but I guess some people probably have their preferences but no I think it looks really really good and the village the wood the wood looks awesome and I think the village looks really cool so I'm just, I don't know, I'm just very proud of myself all around it's been a lot of extra work not as much as before because creative mode has definitely helped with like I used to spend so much time on just gathering just like hand gathering resources uh, before episodes and planning things for when I did just the normal Minecraft files, non-creative, and um, I will go back to that. I'm I'm thinking right now that season six will be back to the normal style. I'm probably gonna bring back TQF and everything, um, but 
being in creative mode, I've been able to build so much more cool stuff. Like this is episode 13, we already have all that stuff built, which is sick. And it just it frees up my creativity, which is why it's called creative mode. Clearly. Duh, chimney, hey, you're so funny. No, it's more like being Captain Obvious. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been really, really fun. It's been really cool. And um, this texture pack has just, uh, I think, made it all that much better. So there you go. There's my point coming around full circle here as I am probably boring the snot out of all of you by planting and growing wheat. I don't know. I didn't want to cut it out. You, you know, Minecraft Files isn't really a series that is has cuts and edits. Um, not like the new holiday series. That one has to, have, has to have cuts and edits because we are trying to keep our episodes at 15 minutes in length um, so that they're, you, they're watchable and you guys, you know, don't uh, lose interest or whatever. And uh, at the same time, we have so much footage, we have to edit it down. But don't worry, we're keeping in all the fun parts. So, all right, well, there's our farm. It actually looks really good. I, I like how it looks. The The terrain isn't the best around this area. I, I don't necessarily like how it just kind of drops off here. But one thing that we can add to the farms before we go, because I do not want to be finished yet. I'm actually having quite a bit of fun right now, is trees. So we're going to put some some trees out and around this farm let's see here if we can grow that guy and that one yes perfect so we'll have some some trees on the outside of the farm like so and the last thing we're gonna do um hey brother buddy Come on. the last thing well that'll i'll finish that off the last thing i want to do is we're gonna add some like scarecrows and they'll be with a jack-o-lantern so it'll be lit so it'll add lighting as well so what we're gonna do is actually I think I might want for the arms to use a fence gate which is in redstone so there we go um, our first guy will put like uh, right there so buddy you're gonna be the first the first of the bunch and let's do up to scarecrow head. Oh wait, dang it! I need to put. I need to place it like that. There we go. Whoa, that throbs like light. That's sweet. Looking very cool. Oh no, we've got problems. Okay, we're gonna destroy that for right now. Put that there. Wait, no. Put that there. We're gonna bring this back. Recover. Plant. Oh, I don't have bone meal. No. Brr. Grow. Okay, there we go. Alright. <laughs> Sorry about the delay. Uh, Alright, planting another block and putting the arm and getting rid of the block. It's a little bit tedious here. But it's cool. So there we go. There's our first little scarecrow dude. Uh, we might add, let's add another one right here. So let's destroy those, destroy those. First fence is going down. We're going to put a grass block there, jack lantern there. This is like specialty building right now, man. We got to do all these crazy little steps. That. Boop. Boop. Oh, no. There. Boom. 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 Perfect. Awesome. Put a tree there. Tree there. Tree here. Wait, that's not going to grow. Oh, it will grow. Cool. Yes. Trees are going to make this thing look sweet. We could also uh, possibly vary it up with like a spruce tree. So let's... Or birch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Birch tree. Oh no, we need that. Will you grow there? You will grow there, yes! Perfect! And we'll put trees over here and everything. Alright, cool. Well, this is going to look really, really awesome. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you uh, appreciate it and enjoyed it as well. Uh, it was a little bit on the longer end, but uh, I think that, that it looks really cool. I like this. I like how this, this turned out. Obviously, I've got some, some uh, tweaks and stuff to make 
for uh, in between episodes, and uh, I might, we'll see, build like a barn or something on Wednesday. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. And uh, of course, if you did, please be sure to hit that like button down below. It always helps me out and shows me that you guys support this series and you support my hard work and effort into making the videos and whatnot. But uh, yeah, I love you guys, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Peace!